Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1106. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. This video, we want to see how to do this conditional formatting. If I change the input to show a different set of two criteria, I want the whole row to be highlighted, but with this beautiful 3D looking gradient conditional formatting. Let's come over here. The trick for a row with conditional format is you got to build a logical true false formula. And here's the deal. When we look at a student ID and for spring, we'd have to come down and find a true match the criteria and another true match the criteria. But guess what? Conditional formatting, all three cells have to look at the same criteria and get the same formatting. That means we need a true, true, and true in each cell to apply the formatting. And I don't know a way to do this with built-in conditional formatting. So we're going to have to use a logical format. Now when we apply the formatting, we're going to have to highlight this and open up the dialog box and put our formula in the dialog box. But it's much easier to build the formula off to the side, see if it's working in a parallel sized range, then copy the formula and paste it into the dialog box. Now we can use the AND function, a logical function that will deliver a true to the cell when both conditions are met, logical one, logical two in our particular case. Now, I need to ask the question. I'm going to start with the quarter. For this whole row, I'm going to have to look at the winter for the first record. And I'm going to have to lock the column reference, but not the row. So I hit the F for one, two, three times. That way, when the formula is copied to the side, the D doesn't move to E and then F. But when we copy down, the 2 will move to 3. And look at the next quarter for the next record. I have to ask the question, are you equal to quarter up here, F4 locked in all direction, comma, the second logical test. Same logic. We have to take student ID for this record, F4 three times, lock the column but not the row. Are you equal to, boom, the student in the criteria area, F4. That's it close parentheses. When those both get a true, and will deliver a true. Copy it over, and then copy it down. So for the records that match, we could get it, We should get a series of trues. Here also we get true, so it looks like it's working. Now we copy the upper left corner in Edit Mode, Control-C, Escape. Now I highlight active cell, wherever I copy that formula from. The active cell better be highlighted. Home, conditional formatting, new rules, or the keyboard Alt HLN, HLN. And then I can select from here with my mouse or down arrow. And then I can click here once I have my use formulas to determine which cells to format. Or I can hit Tab and then Paste, Control V. Now I can format. How do we get that gradient? Come to fill. Check this out. Fill effects. I'm going to click there. And wow, there's actually a bunch of cool things we can do. I'm just going to do two colors, horizontal, because I want to emphasize that this is for the whole row. And then select uh, some darker one for the bottom, some similarly dark value, but a different color. And then click OK. Both of these, if you squint your eyes, are pretty dark. So I'm going to have to pick a light colored font, meaning the value of the font color better be light. So I'm going to pick white. And there we go. Click OK. It was that beautiful fill effects. Look at that. It's already looking good. Click OK. Click OK. And there we have it. I absolutely love that. Check that out, that 3D effect. All right, uh, there's a, a reference video. There's, I have a video from my Highline Excel class, video 40, that has like 50 examples, everything you ever wanted to know about conditional formatting. All right, we'll see you next video.